Hi everyone, this is Nick from Coral's Coral. Today we're going to show you Coral's Coral Lens, our new product. We're going to open it up, show you its components, and then we're going to take you through how to use it, show you what it can do, and how it differs from some of the other lenses out there. First, we're going to open it up, we just pull the tab and push up on the inside. It's packed nicely in this carrying case. It's got a little carabiner on it. You can hook it onto your belt loop. It's pretty lightweight too, so you can take it around. I've put it on my belt while I've been going places and I don't even notice it at all. So it's, it's pretty nice that way. You can just have it when you need it to look at your tank when you want to take a cool picture. If you go to the fish store, you want to take a picture of a coral, send it to a friend, or maybe get permission from your wife. Or if you want to go to take it to a friend's house, show them how it works and take a picture of their tank or take some videos of their tank. The case is also waterproof, so if, the, if you spill on it or something, then it's not a big deal. It's still going to keep your lens protected. So we're going to unzip it and check it out inside. We've got some foam in here. It's molded for the lens and the clip. Up here we've got our orange filter. Behind the orange filter, we have a cleaning cloth. We'll take the clip out. I'll show you how this clip differs from some of the other phone lenses. So, on some of the different lenses that you'll find, there will just be a full clear circle here with no plastic in the middle. That makes it really nice for positioning it onto your phone. However, if you're using the macro or the wide angle lenses, it could distort the image. You need this guide here so that you can center the clip onto your camera and that'll make sure that you get the best quality picture that you can. If it's off to the side one way or the other or up or down, then it's going to be thrown off. So this really helps you get it just where you need it. One other thing I saw, there are some clips that have this guide in them, but it's super small and it's really annoying to use those clips. To try to center it right on your camera you got to fiddle with it and if you're just off just a hair then it it has a black spot in the photo so this is a nice medium where we still have the guide to help us get the best image possible however it's wider than a lot of the other guides so that there's a little bit more wiggle room it's not quite as difficult to put on and it still gets you a great quality photo another thing about the clip is it has this rubber on both sides so that it's not going to scratch your phone at all. It's super soft on your phone. It holds it there in place where you want to put it. That's the clip. Next we're going to move on to the macro and wide angle lenses. We have two colors. We have a black one. This one is the rose gold color which is really nice. We're the only company that offers a lens with this color. So it comes with the macro on the bottom. The wide angle lens already attached. You can unscrew the two of them if you want to use them separate ever that. Each lens also comes with a lens cap. So here's the top one for the wide angle. The bottom one on the macro you just unscrew. There you have it. So next we're going to open up our filter. This is one thing that sets apart all the lenses. They all have uh, some type of orange filter as you can see. However, they're all a little bit different. They're all, they all vary depending on which company makes it. Some of them are more orange, some of them aren't quite too as orange. They have different effects. Ours is called a 15K lens. As some of you might be familiar with lighting, different companies, even though they say 15K, 15 Kelvin, it varies depending on the brand. So even though it has the same Kelvin rating, they're slightly different as well. I know there are other lenses that use a 15K, We've tried about seven different lenses, and ours, we think, gives you the best color. So to put the whole thing together, grab the clip. First, you'll put on your 15K filter. It just screws right on. After you get that on, you just screw on the macro and wide-angle lens. They're probably already together if you just took it out. Now we're ready to start using it. The best way to use this is without a phone case. If you have a very thin phone case, it might work okay too. If your phone case is thick, 
if there's any distance the lens is off of your actual camera, if it's not touching the camera, you could get some distortion in your photos. You could get a black ring around your photos as well. You could try it out with your case and see what happens, but I recommend doing it with no case. So you just clip it right on, look under the light, and you can center the clip onto your phone camera. One other thing about this clip is that it's designed, a lot of phones nowadays have multiple cameras, so this clip is designed for three linear cameras. So as long as there's, they're straight in a row, it should be able to handle up to three cameras. And it's pretty easy to move from side to side if you have to do that too. So now that it's on our phone, we're gonna show you a little bit about how it works and how to use the different lenses, how to maximize their capabilities and how to get the best photos you can.